SEI, say right here. Uh, if we're on the daily, uh, the first thing that we want to do is that we want to make sure the price has reclaimed the 200 moving average line right here. This is a 200. Uh, if you look at the price of say, we are above the 200 moving average. This is very positive. So if you are looking for opportunities uh, to take advantage of in the short term, this is rule number one, guys. This is going to be your checklist. The first thing you got to do is make sure the price is above the 200. Once the price is above the 200, that only means one thing is that you are dealing with a project that is in an uptrend. Uh, if you look at the movement of the price, you are more likely going to see something that looks like this. Higher highs and higher lows. Right, so if you look at if you look at say that's exactly what we have, guys. Higher highs, higher lows. Right? Higher lows. So looking at it right now, it right, looks like we do got a pullback. Right, let's go to the four hour. I'm looking at this right now. Best thing to do right now is to put a trend line right here. Pick a trend line right there. Right? And then you can put another one actually right here. This is the full hour. If you go to the daily, you see exactly what this looks like. This is a very bullish pattern. So if we do break out. We break out to the upside. The highs were 55. So this time we're going to 60. Yeah, something like this. And I don't know if we'll come back. Eventually you get something that looks like that. So I was looking at say, and I was trying to take advantage of it in the short term. There's only two ways for me to get into a position. Either I wait for this breakout or I wait for a pullback to retest this trend line right here. I'm waiting for the retest. I'm getting into a position right here. And I'm putting my stop loss right below 48 cents. Putting my stop loss right here. Right below that. I'm getting in up here. This is where I'm getting in. Putting my stop loss. Look, you can put your stop loss just right below. No, I'm putting my stop loss below whatever the lows are. So if we have something like this, putting my stop loss just right below these lows. And now, you know, we don't have the breakout, so very hard to know where where this pullback is going to occur. This is say right here, guys. So in the short term. He basically looks really good. Cardano. You go to the daily. Again, the first thing we're trying to see if the price is above the 200. Price is above the 200 right here. I actually extend it. Go to the full hour. And you see how... Your RSI, your MACD are, you know, cooling off right now. If you look at the price, there isn't really much happening in terms of like, you know, coming down. So the market is basically just going sideways. This is what, you know, bull market consolidation looks like. You know, price doesn't actually have to go down. Like you can just go in a bullish sideways consolidation until you, know, you get the actual breakout. So... Those of you guys that are looking at Solana right now, I think the best thing is to just put a trend line. You put a trend line right here. It doesn't matter how long we consolidate in this range right here. Once you get a breakout, it is game on. You know, for the next for the next leg. So, Cardano looks really good. 
you know, especially once these EMAs, re uh, once these indicators reset, like once your RSI is reset, uh, once your MACD has reset, you know, that's normally a very, very positive. Trying to see which one you guys may like more. Uh, let's take a look at Tata. Tata, I'm very bullish on it. Uh, very, very, guys. Those in my private Discord, uh, they got in way, way early. Long term. But in the short term, look, this is, you know, speaking of this, we are actually trading this. This was our entry, I believe, at a dollar sixty cents. So you look at the price now. You know, 175. So we're going after this target right here. Two dollars and twenty-nine cents. And this is going to be just a little over a 40% profit. I'm on the daily right now. You know, you see how positive this is. Uh we took out the last previous high right here. Go to the four hour. I mean, even more crazier, guys. You see, I had the train line right here. Because I knew we were going to repeat exactly this right here. Right, and uh, this is exactly what we want to see. You have, you know, higher highs, higher lows. Right, very, very positive guy. The Tata looks really, really good. Right. Now, what else is here? Take a look at Bunk. Bank has been on a crazy run. You know, for you long-term holders or for you swing traders, you know, the best time to get in was right here, guys. Uh, but once again, you know, the price is above the 200 moving average. It's very positive. But you want to make sure you're playing things that are actually in an uptrend. Look, it's uh, a lot easier to, you know, to research a bunch of these altcoins and you know, be a attempt to get in. You just want to form it right now. Make sure you have a strategy, guys. I wouldn't recommend getting into something if the price is below the 200. It's extremely risky, guys. Very look, the whole market is gonna pump, but make sure you're training yourself to look to look at the right stuff. So, funk, you know, big move right here. Uh, if I go to the four hour. Pull back right now. So once again, train lines are the ways to go right now. You know, just stick a train line right there. Make sure you're touching multiple points. And then when you do get a breakout, fully take advantage of it. In the bear market, you know the opportunities are not just they're not as accessible. It's not too many of them out there. So you do get it. You know, make sure you take full advantage of it. Meme coins. Well, this is bunk meme coin. Uh, bunk. Now, nah, I mean, Dogecoin. Excuse me, guys. So, I told you guys recently, you know, Dogecoin doesn't have to drop below 30 cents. And you can see exactly what Dogecoin is actually doing, right? We are basically just going sideways, guys. Like, this is a very bullish consolidation. So, the end of this is a breakout to the upside. I can tell you guys that straight right now. You know, straight up right now. Um, I'm on the four hour time frame. If you look at the four hour RSI, I mean, this thing has completely reset. You look at the four hour MACD, it has completely reset. So look, I can't predict the future, but what I can say is this at any time, whether it's day, night, tomorrow, next week, next month. We are going to have a breakout. And when we do get a breakout, it is going to be glorious, guys. You know, Dogecoin goes into the 50 cents range, 60, potentially 70. And of course, goes way, way higher, guys. Look, Dogecoin, probably $1.50. Probably $1.50 by the end of the bull market. 